in the given figure r1 is equals to 10 ohm r2 8 ohm r3 4 ohm and r4 equals to 8 ohm battery is ideal with emf 12 volt equivalent resistance of the circuit and the current is applied by the battery or respectively this is the given diagram first we have to find out the equivalent resistance of this uh, circuit once observe the circuit carefully what about r2 r3 and r4 how these three resistors are connected in the circuit take r2 resistor name these two points a and b r4 one end of r4 is connected to b terminal but the second end of r4 is connected to r3 but another end of r3 connected to b terminal only so r4 r2 and r3 one end is connected to b terminal and what about this point again with the help of another wire this terminal is connected to a that means r2 r3 and r4 these three resistors are connected in parallel one end of r2 r4 r3 connected to b and another end of r2 r3 and r4 connected to a so these three resistors are in parallel connection first to find out the equivalent resistance of these three resistors connected in parallel that's why 1 by rp is equals to 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 plus 1 by r4 resistance of r2 8 ohm r3 4 ohm and r4 also 8 ohm 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 2 by 8 2 by 8 is 1 by 4 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 2 by 4 so 1 by 2 from this rp is equals to 2 ohm now redraw the circuit diagram battery 12 volt and here r1 resistor is there equivalent resistance of the three resistors 2 ohm and this is 10 ohm what about these two resistors connected in series the final equivalent resistance of the circuit is equals to r1 plus rp 10 plus 2 12 ohm first question answer equivalent resistance of the circuit is equals to 12 ohm now we have to find out the current supplied by the battery take ohms law v is equals to ir here r is nothing but equivalent resistance of the circuit total current in the circuit i is equals to v by r equivalent given v value 12 volt and equivalent resistance is 12 ohm 12 by 12 1 the current passing through the circuit is 1 ampere so check the given options equivalent resistance in the circuit is 12 ohm and the current passing through the circuit is 1 ampere so first option is correct